Let's take a look at the numbers that matter, John. Look at the numbers that matter here. Tail of tape on this welterweight matchup, 10 and 2 for Naaman Gracie. A lot of people don't believe he lost his last fight. It was controversial. But 12 and 3 for Mark Leminger. This is a matchup of styles that are absolutely meant to be in the cage together. This should be outstanding. Gracie looking to bounce back. Mark Leminger looking to crash the top 10. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA Live on Showtime now presents tonight's co-main event, three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing the blue corner at six foot, weighing in 169.9 pounds. His professional record, 12 wins, just three losses by way of Johnson Creek. He fights out of Madison, Wisconsin, Mark Leminger. And across the cage, his adversary tonight out of the red corner at six foot weighing in 170.6 pounds. The former Bellator title challenger brings 10 professional victories, only two defeats, fighting out of Newport Beach, California, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting Neymar Gracie. And the referee in charge. Jason Herzog. Naaman Gracie says if his cousin Henzo Gracie isn't in the building, he's not fighting. That's how important Henzo's been First to his round, career. Mark Leminger says he's going to keep it standing and beat Gracie on the feet. Bell in round one. It begins on the feet, of course. Gracie in the red gloves, Leminger in the blue. And it's going to be interesting to see what wrinkles in the striking that Gracie shows. And he just landed the first strike of the fight, a jab. We already seen that Naaman Gracie's stand-up has gotten progressively better throughout his Bellator career to the point where he is very comfortable on his feet. Now that he's with Rafael Codero, that is a place where he can just expand on his style and what he does well. And he's coming out aggressively in the stand-up. Both of them are. This is because he's comfortable here. He is not the typical Gracie that a lot of people get used to where they're looking for just the takedown and that's the only thing that they're looking for throughout the fight. He will stand on his feet and bang. I thought Crosley Gracie would have the potential to become the best striker in uh, the Gracie family, but his MMA tenure was short-lived. Coming up on a minute gone here in the first frame, and it's Gracie having Leminger against the fence in the clinch. And one of the things that's different about Gracie when he gets into the clinch, he likes the clinch yes. like a Greco-Roman wrestler. I've always said that the guys with Greco-Roman wrestling backgrounds are the toughest. Right hand, right uppercut. That's hurt. Hurt on the knee of Leminger. And Naaman Gracie lighting up Leminger with these oh, right hands. It's the right hand. in the striking department full value for the victory that striking was superb this is what i was talking about when you have that comfort level when you believe that you have reached a certain point where hey i'm not worried about having to die for takedowns i can stand up and i can bang and i have power name and grace he just proved what kind of power he has mixed martial arts Rafael Cordero has done it again, and Henzo Gracie and the rest of Gracie's team now moving to 11 and 2, erasing the, vic the loss to Jason Jackson. He wants to run it back against Double J, and he just ran over Mark Leminger. Elbow strike to begin, John. That was a good elbow that landed, but Mark ate it well. But then he got hit behind the ear, but watch the big uppercut. The uppercut is what starts to change this fight. That is a devastating shot. You see it actually takes his legs away. It is the cage that keeps him up at that point. He's putting his hands up like he's in a schoolyard fight where he doesn't know where he's at, what he's doing. Then he gets it back, he fights back. And you see him start to go out on his feet. Man, those strikes were staples. There's the elbow strike. 
Big shots landed. He's not fighting back. That is a good stoppage by Jason Herzog. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. One minute, 27 seconds into round number one by TKO Neymar Gracie. The evolution is complete. Neyman Gracie showing respect. And, well, I know Big John McCarthy's going to show him plenty of respect. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, Naaman Gracie. Naaman, your coach, Rafael Cadero, was bragging about you to me just the other day about, oh, you should see his striking. I said, hey, I said his striking was already good. He goes, it's even better. Talk to me about what you're feeling like on your feet in this cage. I don't need to take people down to win fights anymore. I can do it all. But if I take you down, oh boy. Talk to me about the uppercut and the way you saw the opening to throw that uppercut. That's what started the downfall for Mark in this fight. I saw he was putting his head down, so I come up with the uppercut. I have one thing to say. <clears throat> if we keep the fight standing, it's hospital. If we go to the floor, cemetery that sounds very similar to a guy that used to throw kicks by the name of Krokop who is it that you believe you should be matched up with next in this cage there is a couple guys that I want to fight I want to fight MVP I've been calling this guy out forever and the fight never happens he always have an excuse I want my rematch with Jason Jackson I won that fight last time and I got robbed and I want Mr. Yarolav Yamosov, I have the worst game for him, and I believe I'll be the one to give him his first loss. Well, any of those fights would be fantastic to see. Congratulations on a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Naaman Gracie.